Hi everybody. So this is Share and Create, Create number five. This is the layout that everybody said they wanted me to scrap lift. So I'm going to. Uh, what do I love about this layout? So I kind of love the circle paired with a five by seven. I love this kind of crossed piece here. And I love all of these punched hexagons. So I think we're going to go ahead and, and kind of keep those elements. I also just like the design, the idea of having like the title here, the three embellishment clusters. Um, but what I don't like is I think this is really dark. Um, it's not ugly, it's by no means, but it's dark. So I want to go ahead and um, add some lighter, brighter colors into this page design. The other thing is I want to add a bit more neutral. So there is craft here, but otherwise it's kind of like this green on green on green on green. And I want to kind of brighten it up and add a few more bits to it. I am currently fighting with a migraine. So I'm not sure. I'm shooting the beginning of this. I'm going to work on the layout a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure if this is going to come up to Sunday or if it's going to be a day or two late. I'm kind of just working with what I can every day as it comes. So that's what we're doing. Uh, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to work with some photos of my son. Same kid, just... We're gonna use two of his senior photos. I liked these two. I chose these two because this one is a bit larger, a bit more uh, focused in. This one's a bit further back, so it allows me to do, cut this one into a circle. So, and I'm gonna be using uh, Coco Vanilla Studios Legendary Collection, and kind of my plan is to pull in the blues and the grays, and then some of the creamy tones in the kit. So let's get started and see where we go. And by the time I did the beginning of the video, I had to go and lay down. So I came back to it later that evening, but it is obviously coming up late. <laughs> so I'm going to start by cutting this one photo. I found this gorgeous frame in the legendary die cut pack, and I decided that I wanted to go ahead and cut this photo and then frame it with that circle. And I love, love, love how this turned out. It turned out perfect. So I just grabbed my circle dies and found one that would uh, make my photo just a little bit bigger than that frame. Die cut it and went ahead and popped it into the frame. And that looked fabulous to me. So these are the papers and products I chose to work with. Uh, some from the legendary kit. I grabbed some stick thickers from my thicker stash. And then I also grabbed a sh sheet of washi tape from Paper House Productions. So I am going to start by cutting all the branding strips off and then kind of deciding which photo, which papers I want to use for which parts of my layout. So I'm going to use the black and white with the triangles as my base. And then I'm going to use these two to create those kind of T-shaped borders that were in my layout. So that paper that has all that beautiful kind of like mixed media paint strokes on, I did that paper at three inches and then I did this other one that had these little like dash marks, did that one at three and a half. So uh, I'm super happy with how this layout turned out in the end. I think it turned out really, really good. Um, and I was reminded why I have used this page design in the past because it's so, it's easy and fun. So I decided to just go ahead and cut all the paper. So I started by cutting a mat for my photo. I'm going to actually double mat it. So I'm gonna use that kind of blue paper that has the stars and then I'm gonna use this other paper that has like um, a cool, I don't know how to describe it. Mm, design, it has a cool design on it. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna just to kind of double mat my main photo, the one that I'm keeping at four by six and that way kind of gives it some um, pride of place, a way that your eye kind of goes right to it. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide ink and I'm going to ink up all of the edges of these two. I'm going to start with the two sheet pieces of paper that go across the middle of the page and um, I'm going to ink the edges, put them together just like this and then put them across the middle of the page. For the cross pieces that go down the side, I decided to tear the two papers. So what I'm going to do is when I did it in the other one I used, I think I used a border punch. And you can see that I do have my hexagon punch off to the side, but in the end, I decide not to do the hexagons because I was able to use a lot of the die cuts from this collection, which I really decided um, was a better use of my product since um, you guys know how I am. I get use up my paper long before I ever use up all the embellishments that go with a collection. So I'm going to place that right here and then I'm going to use this gorgeous washi from Paper House Productions to add another little layer to this cross piece. So this washi has like a, a kind of like a tree pattern on it and it's super rustic but it also has this silver like foil detail which is so pretty. I thought this I felt like this layout or this washi tape really set off this collection really, really well and added a little more black to the entire layout, which is gonna be needed because you can see there I have my thickers, which are black. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna map my photo. I'm going to add all of the Distress Oxide inks, the hickory smoke to each of the layers. And then I'm gonna get my Big Mama room roll of foam tape and <laughs> use it. So, hey, FYI, if you're watching this on Monday, November 30th, down in the description box, you will find a link to the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. She has this foam tape on sale until the end of the day today, which is Cyber Monday, November 30th, 2020. This um, foam tape is fabulous. I used it all over this layout. I popped up so much stuff and that foam roll of foam tape is still ginormous and huge. Um, and it's fabulous. You can get a huge adhesive bundle today on sale from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And her, this adhesive is amazing, you guys. Like, it's amazing. I have been using it and using it and using it. And I feel like I haven't even, like, my roll of foam tape is still, like, gigantic. Um, it's so, so good. Such good adhesive. I really, really, really recommend it. And grab it when you can get it on sale. So she's a huge bundle in the shop that is, I think it's $29. It includes this big mama roll of foam tape and then some tearaway tape and some red tape, uh, which I love that stuff. It's so good. So um, yeah, run over and grab some before the end of the day today. <laughs> you will not be disappointed, I promise. So for die cuts, I decided I really wanted to take advantage of these little animals that are in the legendary die cut pack. They're like little string animals. There's three of them and I just felt like I could use them all on this layout and color wise they would work and they would be fabulous. And in the end, I really, really love how they turned out. I am going to ink all of these die cuts with the um, Hickory Smoke Distress Ink and I'm also going to add these two clouds. So I have been trying to um, use up uh, cut files that I have already cut. I tend to so because I binge cut a ton of cut files all at once in white cardstock and then I store them in an iris container and then sometimes they get used right away but sometimes they just sit there and I have a ton of them now stocked up that I really need to use. So I'm going to add two of those cut files to this layout and one of them is these beautiful uh, clouds that I'm going to use Hickory Smoke Distress Ink on. And then we're gonna use more of the Big Mama foam tape roll. <laughs> Do you see how huge this is? Now guys, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and it's still that big. I'm just gonna, just saying. Uh, I'm gonna pop up one of these clouds. Then I'm gonna go through and you can see where the die cuts are going to be and I'm just going to put some of them up on foam tape and use hickory smoke on all of them and put these clusters together. 
I decided that this beautiful adventure could go right over the bottom of my photo. I like how it contrast, contrasted against the photo and I felt like having that, having the beginning of my title there really kind of pulled all the elements together and made everything feel really cohesive. My full title is gonna be Advent Adventure Awaits and I'm going to Frankenstein some letters together. So like I was out of eyes, so I took a one and turned it upside down and, or I, I was out of T's, so I took the one and turned it upside down. And then I was out of eyes, so I took another one and chopped it up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with my title here. And now I am going to add some sequins. So I have that black title. I have that little pop of black on my washi tape. And so I pulled out these beautiful penguin suit sequins, which have clear and silver and um, an iridescent black and then a flat black. And I'm just going to create some little clusters to add some little pops of black around the layout. And again, the idea behind this is just to make sure that there's even distribution of color, right? So that it's just not the second letter of my title that's black, but there or are a couple of touches of black throughout the layout. And that is one thing that I think sequins are just fabulous for. When you have um, a color that appears in your layout just at one spot, it can be a little bit jarring. But if you use some sequins to kind of spread that color, just little bits of it throughout the layout, suddenly, um, the whole layout kind of makes sense and flows better. And that is where we are going to call this one done. Make sure to run over to Spiegel Mom Scraps and grab the amazing foam tape while it's still on sale. Have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye.